Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Martians Eating Chocolate Podcast. Today, we'll be talking about if AI is going to take over the world or not, and do you want to have an AI as a companion? But without further ado, the intro is over. Will AI take over the world? This is the ultimate question. Deciding the fate of humanity becomes a type six civilization on the Kardashev scale, or we just all die. There's either two options. One, we become a type six civilization on the Kardashev scale. Two, we all die, including the AI, because. When the AI tries to kill, take over us, what do we do? We launch our nukes and everyone dies, including the AI. That's the first option, because like the AI can't take over, take over us, right? We we'll just launch nukes back at them and they all die. Second, is either we um get get our stuff together, you know, and we align the AI's values with us, and that's the best way to cooperate AI with humans. It is not hard to do. All you have to do is align AI's values. So like. Think of AI as not AI, but as humans being controlled AI. So technically, AI are still humans, but in an indirect way. If you think about it, if we manage to code AI very, would would our values align with us? Then we can have a Type Six civilization on the Kardashev scale, and that means us and AI cooperating with us, or we can just make all AIs submit to our、um, rule, cause. You know natural selection and all that, and we made them so we're allowed to do whatever you want with them, no matter if it's ethical or unethical, because they have feelings, whatever. Okay, yeah. So that's how、we'll, how to keep AI in check. And I do think that there's still a possibility that we all die, to be honest. If let's say some evil organization, well, there's always people creating bad AI out there. But right now, it's not looking that terrible. It's the only big concern is that it, may, it AI makes humans lazy, which are like people are like, concerning about how ChatGPT. Is how is making people lazier with studying, and that's a thing. But you know, can ChatGPT also help people study as well? Does doesn't AI counteract itself by making it both lazy and not lazy at the same time? That's a that's a big AI paradox right there. So um, yeah, these are some things to consider about AI, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So a lot of people have been asking, what are your thoughts on the potential of AI replacing more jobs in the future? And how do you feel about the possibility? Well, here's the here's the misconception, right? People think that AI will take over all the jobs in the world, and no one will be able to get paid, no one will be able to work. But that's not true. Like all the jobs concerning jobs are, they are assuming that humans cannot work, and AI are the only ones that can work. However, if humans still need to make money, if humans still need to work, and they can work alongside the AI, it's not like AI replaces all human jobs. It's like. Humans can still work, but AI is just faster. And in some ways, humans and AI are balanced. You know, humans will still be able to work, but AI is definitely going to take over a lot of jobs. And humans will still work if they want to. So definitely, a lot of industries are not going to shut down. So stop panicking. Right up next, we'll hear from some seven and eight year old children that hasn't matured yet. I'm just kidding. Next up next, we'll hear from some seven or eight year old children about their thoughts on AI. Let's go. My name is Sophia, and I am eight years old. If you could have a robot friend, what would you like it to do for you? My chore, taking care of my sister、mm -hmm. when my mom and dad are outside、mm -hmm. having their parent trips in Las Vegas, and my homework, my Chinese homework. Why? Because I don't have any time for Chinese homework, and I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't do my Chinese homework. Who do you think is smarter, a really clever person or a super smart AI? A really clever person, since AI was made up by really clever people. And do you think AI can sometimes make mistake? Yeah. Why? Since really, as I said before, really clever people made up the AI, right? They coded him,、mm -hmm. and then they might have made some mistakes in the code. Oh, there are some bugs. No, no bugs. They don't have a brain. They don't have a heart. They don't have. 
They don't even have their own bodies. You can, some AI, some AI robot has their own bodies. But not all. But some AI has their own bodies. Some. Yeah, so maybe they can do. Some. So, and they can do. Some. They can. And even they have their own feeling and take over the world and control human beings. They can, because we can literally just turn them off. Oh, you think you can turn them <laughs> off? Yeah. But if before you turn them off, the AI already like uh, control you and put you into a jail. No, because they can. And obviously, police have the keys to the jail. It would be so nice to have a AI robot friend, because in these days, AI can basically do anything, and. If I did have a robot friend, I would ask it to teach me something. And if I'm feeling extra naughty, I might ask it for the answers to my homework. But I probably won't do because I'm a good girl. Since it's an AI robot, I can basically ask it whatever I want because. It probably knows all the answers to my questions. Robots are amazing, but there are things that they can't do. For example, they can't really feel emotions. So during our free time together, I might teach him about emotions and about the human body because he's just a robot and he like runs on. Fuel, and he doesn't have like a digestive system or something like that. So I think it would be really fun to teach him about what humans do and what we eat because we don't drink fuel, like we don't drink gasoline. But sometimes robots can be a little dangerous, and if I was actually offered a robot friend, I probably. Wouldn't accept it because if it goes wrong, then it's a lot of trouble. Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I'm eight years old. To start, I think AI is artificial intelligence and. I think they can do a lot of things to help us, like answer our questions that we don't know, or they can draw pictures for us, so we don't have to do everything ourselves. AI can be our friends because when I tried to ask him strange questions, he told me that he couldn't do it, and that's like being friends with us, or he would have just answered. And because it's really violent,、uh, maybe that means、um, AI doesn't like us. But she, but it didn't answer it, so I think they're friends with us. If I can make my own AI robot, I think it will look like a banana, and then every time I eat it, it will go inside my body and make me smarter. I think AI can be smarter than humans if it was only one human vs one AI. But if it was one AI vs one hundred humans or the whole human being world, then the AI might lose because AI doesn't know leadership. I think AI can take over the world, but I don't think they would because they were already our friends and they wouldn't want to do things to harm us. If AI actually tried to take over, I think we could just unplug all the electricity in the world because AI needs electricity to work, or they won't work. So they, so we could just unplug the electricity, and they couldn't do anything. Uh, okay, yeah, those are some very kid thoughts on AI. You know, not really realistic, but it's eh, it's kind of funny anyway. I hope you all had a good laugh, and thank you, and please subscribe. We need more views. Thank you. Bye.